dude. Oh! <laughs> Hit it. That is the perfect example of a red rock. How big is that rock? Maybe a metre? Look at them. the boys not hooking up in that <laughs> that was oh he's got me dude oh, no no <laughs> oh my god! That was proper. Oh! <laughs> wow! Did you see the run? Like I went, nah, I'm gonna run it from him. Holy. Dude! That absolutely smoked me. That was incredible, the bite too. I was like, I know he's looking at it. He just won't commit and I went, here, chase it. And I just went, dit, 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 dit. I can't believe I could feel, like I felt it just go, Doop, and then go. <laughs> oh, Nolsey, I let the boys down there big time. Look how much he had me, man. He was just. All in there. He wanted the squid. Mate. He wanted the squid. He wanted to just chase the squid. Oh! Oh my God! Oh! Holy! Jeez! Oh my gosh, dude! Just got pop. <laughs> what a psycho! <laughs> yeah, it's just I nearly had to engage lock. Man, Nolsey. This shallow water stuff skits. Whew! Squids! Stripey red? Stripey red? Yeah, stripey red. I had a feeling about the stripey red. It was just. Whew. I kind of missed them for a while. Like, I haven't caught one for a while. And I've kind of missed them. I feel like we're gonna bank up a few though. Ooh, I got red red. Stop it. Red, red. You got red red? I got red red. No way. Oh, <laughs> you got red red. Yes. Red red. Look what I got yeah. stitched up with. There they are. Oh, oh new mark, found that one. Is that your first uh, squidly drop as That's well? That's my first squidly drop. Let me hold up me. Uh... It's been a while for Matt, you know. 
But oh, 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 all right. Skitsy, let's get up. Knowles is red, red. So, a uh, bit of a rundown of what's going on. We've pushed out a little bit further here and um, ran over a little bit of ground. And I told Nolsey to put on the squid tracks. Go around a little bit more yeah, there. The red, red. How good's that? For second drop on the squid tracks. And the good red. <laughs> Redrift that one. We will be redrifting. It's a pretty long drift too. Come on, Nolsey. Come on, Nolsey. Come on, Nolsey, oh, no, get him. <laughs> oh, that was a good bite. Same thing? Same thing. Just burn it about five meters off the bottom and then stopped it. And he just went. Oh, no. What is this creature, man? Dogging it out. Come on. Like proper dogging it out. I ain't got him off the bottom now. That was a proper bite. Same thing. Ran it from him. Ran the it. chase. He Sometimes the chase. they need the chase. Nolsey could be the provider uh, today, or oh, he's uh, stopped. Yeah, he's slowed up a bit. That's good. Come on, redfish. Be red. Just be red. What was the last good red you got? A few moons ago. Really? Yeah. I haven't actually got a decent one on a jig. So Bowley's one-upping you at the moment. Bowley's got me. Got me on the jig. Come on. Colour. Don't be the striped red. Be the good... Oh, oh. colour. Nolsey. What happened, mate? Proper red. <laughs> that was the next drop after that first one. Toasted me. I was. I, I thought it was a Chinaman, so I was just going that hard on it. I was like... Just... If you knew, you'd never go that hard, nah, eh? Nah, no way. 84 centimetres of red there. Uh, 11 kilos on a 130 squid tracks. In 35 meters of water. Dude, that's a freaking horse, hey. That's epic. I'll um hold him there, I'll get some actual photos. Whew, all right guys, so we pushed out a little bit further and um huge surprise, those two reds, like 40 meters of water definitely shows, you know, you gotta just gotta try different stuff every now and again and I've always fished the deeper isolated stuff and it's always worked to catch big fish, but we've pushed out a little further and we're fishing 40 meters of water, kind of edge of a reef. Um, there is plateaus, but it's just consistent with life. I mean, this is an example again where, you know, as we're idling along, it's just When you get a bite on these too, they won't leave them alone, eh? 100%. I could, come back, yeah. Come back, come back. In that. Oh, oh. Nolsey. Oh, my. Woo! Oh. Dude. Oh. <laughs> oh! That's what I was just saying. They come back every time. Oh, that's big, dude. That's large. Get him, Nolsey. Oh. Double. Yep. Double. Yep. Oh, oh my god! And again! Oh no! Come on! Yep! Oh no! Come on! Yeah! Oh dude! It must be tangled! Holy! Get him, Nalsy! Get him! Oh, it's getting bucked! <laughs> got him. Yeah, got him! We got him! <laughs> oh, dude! Oh, dude, come on! 
That's the limit. That's the limit. What the? No way. That's another one, man. Bro. No way. No way. Look at that thing. Nothing. Get him in the fuck. What? You're joking. Oh. You grab this camera. Bro. <laughs> Surely, come on. Oh, oh. no. What is that? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it is tangled. Oh, oh it's through the splitty. That's why. I bent it. Bent I'm going to change Squiddy. We're going to get this thing up and then release him. I'm going to drive away to him. I'm going to release him. Yeah, hook out. We're just slowly idling away here because we're going to release this fish. We don't want him to go back down to school. We don't want to basically bring the sharks in. So I'm going to quickly get this thing up, show you guys it's an absolute giant. 12. 12 kilos. Get a quick length on him. Nolsey is on fire here. <laughs> Dude. Oh my. This is even bigger. This thing's 86 centimeters, 12 kilos. We just quickly weighed it. Dude! Oh, that's as good as it gets. How good is that? Alright, we'll go swim him down the back here. Bro, that is epic. Woo! What is going on? This is my second time back here in this area and to witness fishing like that and to see reds at that size and this depth is... Woo! Anyway, I've got a big, I've got a 150 on so I've put on a big squid and I'm going to get Nolsey to film one of these drops and just if we can actually catch a red on camera like that, that size, um, it's going to be, it's the dream. It's honestly the dream of someone who fishes. So, uh, look, we're going to give it a red hot crack here. And you'll see me pushing this rod and reel to its absolute limit because we're in 37 meters of water. That last red was 12 kilos, 86 centimeters. Freakish stuff. All right, so we're going to be drifting basically the way the boat is pointing. So I'm going to give it like a little 10, 15 meter flick forwards. Um, I've explained it before, basically what happens is as the boat's drifting forwards, um, as the squid tracks is sinking and the boat's drifting forwards, we're going to move on top of it. So ideally, you want to be exactly where you casted, basically by the time the squid tracks hits the bottom. So. I'm a bit nervous here. It's going to be wild if it actually happens. I'm going to fit even poor Trouty. Like a poor Trouty's going to come in and hit it. Then I'm just going to give him hell. <laughs> Whew, all right. Dropping into an actual bait school. Hit the bottom already. And we have been running the same technique. It's like rip, 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 stop. And it's like they're looking at it. Come on, baby. 
Come on. Oh, we're getting him, Nazi. I think it's a... You get him. It feels like a big trap, man. Oh. Come on, babe. Feels a bit different. This feels a bit valley-ish. Actually, I can see him, and it's not bad. Oh, it's a big. What's going <laughs> That's on? That's good. Dude? That's real good. That's real good. I'll take that. Oh. I will take you. Oh my God! Look at the sounder. Look at this! What? <laughs> That's a mantle. Alright, we'll get this guy in, I'll drop straight back down. Oh, jeez, dude. It's He's a small. solid jobby. Be a good boy. What's happening? Look at that thing. All right, buddy. Beautiful. Good to go again. Let's get to see where we are. It's a bit of live action for you guys. This is when it's on, it's on. Um. Go again. Yeah, we'll go again. Let's just go again. Even that poor thing got dealt to, hey. He was like, oh, I've got a chance here. Yeah. Not a chance, Not a mate. chance. Not a chance. Now, to sneak around. Slightly different drift, but that should be all right. Probably not a bad thing to spread them out a bit. Yeah. <clears throat> Whew. That was a good jobby. That's a good one, hey. Real good one. For in close. Yeah. 35 meters in the back of a tight line. Mm. He's there. <laughs> oh my god, man! That's big. Come on, baby! <laughs> <laughs> That's large. Get him! I'm trying, bro! I'm spitting an old man. <laughs> oh, that's a good fish. I think I've turned him, Nolsey. Get him. I've got him. Get him. Oh, into him, son. Oh, they're good head shakes. <laughs> It's red, but it's, it's stripy. It's a giant stripe red. It's a matte red. That's huge. 
That's large, man. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this and this. Oh, look at the sound. And this and then get that squid down there. You don't go down there and tell your friends. You go that way. Hopefully the squid beats him down there. Hey? <laughs> don't you go after the squid. Man, if I hook up again. Come on, baby, get down there. Got white thumb too, you know, and it's so tight it yeah. actually starts burning. He's huffing. I'm He's huffing and puffing. Oh, dude, on oh. the drop. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, pulled it. Dropped in. <gasps> Send dude. the squid down. We're going back down. Dude! Oh man. Woo! Oh, everything's coming on the sounder. <clears throat> Poor squid. He's the just getting annihilated. The squid's just getting annihilated. flogged. My wrist is like permanently kinked. Oh my look. Oh. Oh. Kidding? That's I'm doing large. it, Lolzy. He's doing it. I'm doing it. I'm locking in the hubs, bro. <laughs> That's full lock. He can't pull drag. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> tuck in and go. <laughs> Sounds like a tractor. We're winching. It's literally. Drives the pin into the spool and it can't go into drag. <sighs> We've turned him. It feels. Come on. It feels like a striped animal. Nozzy, you're next, man. I, <laughs> I thought I was fishing fit, eh? Not a yeah. chance out here. Stripey. Dude, I am blowing steam. <laughs> oh. Unengaging the lock. Look. I would jump in, but there's a bit of grey action going on down there. I dare you to drop, Nolsey. He oh, could. No. He just dropped at the back here. <sighs> Dude. We'll sit down here for Matt. He's Actually, on the bench. There's only one thing to do. He's got to do it. At a time like this. <sighs> You've earned that. I'm back down. I shouldn't even be back down, but I'm back down. Oh, we might be coming into them. I'm gonna come round so we can try go double bendings. Coming into them. Oh, is he waking up? Wake up. Yep. Yep. This doesn't feel, this feels different. This feels like a giant trout. Is it? Is it? It looks very good. 
Very oh. good. Nosey, <laughs> come on, Nosey. That's a good barry. That is a big barry. Back door. Get in, in back the, door. Get in the door. <laughs> what the? That's a good trap. Absolute slob of a bar cheek. Thing's 78 centimetres. Wild what's in this water. Like, there must just be so much life down there. Big boy. Proper one. I'll see. There he is. Good boy. What's he feel like? A trouty? A trouty. I did see a small, a medium shark on the sounder, so. Try to get him in. Yeah. I fully jinxed you then, didn't yeah. I? Like, proper jinxed you, man. You know what's mental? It's on the back side of the moon, too. But we did, actually, you know what we did have? It was bang on moonset. Yeah. When we were coming around, the moon was like... So, you know, if we have a look at it, you know, 11 o'clock, that was all bang on moonset. I did, yeah, I was come, when we were coming around and we are pulling in, the moon was like there, and I went, oh, we might get like a moonset bite, and I didn't even remember until just then. I won't even look in this 35 head stuff. No. I don't reckon. They'd be like 60, 50. Well, that's, that's what I've always thought. And I only just drove over it by accident because I was coming around the corner here to go out to my 60 marks. Yeah. Oh, all right. <clears throat> We're back in this, the crazy zone. What you'll actually see me doing through the day is I'm just switching between setups. So I've got my Lexa 300 there. Uh, you know, I've used that a lot, but now that I've switched over to the Soltega, I'll use Alexa a lot inshore, just for that slightly lighter stuff. And then as soon as we kind of come that next layer out, we go to the other side of the reef, like the blue, proper blue water side of the reef. I'm switching over to the Soltega and I've got 50 pound Pandera on here. So, um, you know, honestly, hold on, I'll just flick you over to this 50 pound Pandera can just about anchor a boat so like you know me swinging off it as hard as I can there's no real point in going heavier because you can't break it anyway so um, throughout the day you're just going to see me kind of switching between rods and when this slows down um, we're going to probably sneak onto the flats something else that's super interesting and you know, a lot of you guys may, may not realise uh, that it's even happening really, but when we were coming around the corner to actually come and fish this area, um, I noticed the moon, and the moon was, you know, like an hour off the horizon. Um, so, by the time we got here, I'd actually forgotten about the moon, but that epic bite that we had, not that it's going to completely stop, but just that initial really kind of crazy moment was bang on moonset. So for those guys who don't know what moonset is, moonset is when the moon is kind of going down and it hits the horizon. So you've got four bite periods of a moon, which is moon above, which is directly above, moon set, moon below, and then moon rise. So, you know, in those four bite windows, it really pays if you are going to go fishing just to note them down and just be aware of it because that made a huge difference to kind of what we just encountered then so you know if you do have a really good area or you see fish on your sounder and they're not biting just be aware of your moon and um look if you're in the same area and you know you're coming up to a moon bite window go back there because i guarantee those fish will turn on for that hour I reckon they're looking at your vibe or your jig now. More down there.
Oh, you oh. Oh, kidding. No way. Big dog. Um, yeah, you hold that. Hopefully that's what he's chucked out. And it's not coming in the boat. Honestly, the quality of fish that we're catching today running the squid tracks, I don't know if it's just because of like the size of the actual lure itself, but that's just another really, really quality bar cheek trout. Um, amazing fish, like, oh, try and nib me. I'll nib him back with a knife. That's epic. We got him, Nalzi. Not bad, Chelsea. Hey? It's not bad. It's all I wanted. One good one. One nice one. Yeah, I know. I know. All right, let's get him back. Yeah, I had this grand plan today to head out here with Nolsey, <clears throat> do a little bit of jigging this morning, and then come onto the flats and just do a bit of exploring. You know, I've even got like snorkel, got everything. I was gonna dive in, do the whole lot, but at no stage did I expect to have a jig bite like we did. So ended up basically staying out there a little longer than I expected, but 
Hey, I'm not complaining. Hey, that was that was honestly one of the best jig bites I've ever had. Um, to have fish of that size, quality, and just drop after drop. Amazing. That's why we go in search. You know, that's why I do hundreds and hundreds of kilometers to try and find these things. And uh, now we're basically, we've got the other boys with us behind us. And uh, we're just letting the current push us along this reef. We're chasing GTs and we're just gonna jump onto the flats quickly. And then um, there's a really nice little sandy spot up here. We're gonna anchor up and just, just chill out. But for now, we're gonna keep fishing and um, Oh God, even that spot there looks good. Oh, big flapsy. Oh, banger. Oh, yes. Oh, I watched him come in. That was sick. Very angry. Is he mad at you? Yeah. Boy, he's pretty big. Hang on to him. Oh. Majestic. Majestic. He's all right, finished the day. It's a great fish. He's good. Send him? Yeah. Nice. He was angry. He was very angry. Oh, I think this one's pretty big. Big man. <laughs> these? No, I should get on top of him. Big boat spin here. Well, it's a real quick change of pace for the boys who've come in to the flats. We've got a big banger getting a photo here. Jack just hooked that one before. I'm running down the back. <laughs> that was quick, man. That's epic. You that call was... it as we come in. This sand spit. Not bad, Look, not bad. Five minutes in. Not bad. <laughs> Get him! Get him! Got him! Yes! <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> Mental scenes. 